Hey, good day, everyone. Um, this is Rick Mohan here with FM Walleyes along with Eric Seeds. We are the uh, Classic Cup Tournament co-directors. And we wanted to take this opportunity to uh, uh, talk with you a little bit about um, the upcoming um, Comorant Fall Classic, big Comorant Fall Classic tournament. Um, that's coming up here on uh, the 19th and 20th of September. So guys, um, I have received some questions about it and uh, we're gonna go through and kind of hopefully address all that. But we sure want to encourage everyone to, uh, that is interested to get those uh, entries in. We, we really hope to have a, a big field and have a great event. So Eric, I'm gonna turn it off to you. So a quick rundown of the, uh, like an overview of our fall classic, a uh, few things that you can expect, a uh, couple changes we wanna talk about. Uh, number one, the, the 2020 Cormorant Fall Classic will be a catch photo release turn format. A um, little bit different than what we've done in the past um, with the uh, COVID um, rules that are put in place. Um, this looks like, it, 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 speaking Rick and I with a few board members just talking it over, it made the best sense um, as far as management um, of the tournament, just some of the social distancing aspects that you got to follow. Um, we thought that this was the best thing to do at the time. And number two, or yeah, I guess to go with that, um, our, our whole tournament season has been catch photo release. So we're, we're well adapted to that format. So it, I don't anticipate any big issues. Um, I think the fishing might be a little bit better. We're, we're certainly gonna see a couple bigger bags, but for this year, that's the direction we're gonna go, given the rules that we have to play with. Um, second point, um, anglers will correct their, uh, collect your packets at the Camp Cormorant dock, just like you do in our other tournaments. You'll, you'll get boat checked and then drive over to the dock, pick up your, pick up your packets. Um, we're anticipating two flights um, for this tournament. Um, as in the past, uh, we'll, we will start at eight o'clock with the first flight and 8.30 for the second flight. So we've done that the last couple of years out there and uh, no changes to that. Um, we will uh, conduct an online rules meeting. So look, look for that in the, in the, in the uh, future here. Um, the online awards ceremony will be just like uh, the ones in the past this year. Um, we're gonna ha try to have the top 10 and 15. We're, we're telling people we'll have the top 10, 15 published by Monday. Um, that gives us some time. Obviously, guys, if we have time and we can do it, we're going to try everything we can to get it out sooner. But that's our promise to you is at least Monday morning. Um, anglers will be expected to practice social distancing and other public health practices during the event as we have all summer. So Eric, and I was just going to circle back around and mention that, you know, the, the results of the Cormorant Classic, would we would, you know, get, uh, promise to publish on Monday. But the uh, season points, um, it's going to take us some more time to get that all pulled together. So we're going to be shooting for Tuesday for the, for the overall points champion. Yes, yeah, so we'll work on those things. Um, then are some of the changes you can expect. Look for some more details in our rules meeting when we talk about that. Um, and then I guess for changes at the camp, I'm going to turn it over to Rick and let him talk about that. I am pleased to say that we were able, uh, successful in, in securing the use of Camp Comrade for the 2020 um, uh, Big Comorant Fall Classic. Um, please note that we have access to the camp um, starting Friday morning on the uh, September the 18th and then through the end of the tournament on Sunday. Um, this is a bit of a change from years past uh, in that uh, we generally had access to the camp much of the week um, and there were a few people that would come out and pre-fish and stay there uh, at the camp. Um, um, midweek. Um, we're not going to have that option this year. So uh, we just don't have access until Friday morning. I mean, you guys can pre-fish all week, however you would normally want to do that. But um, um, participants and the, and, and the club uh, volunteers, we will not have access to camp until that Friday morning on the 18th of September. Uh, anglers will have access to the cabins as in the past. Um, but um, you know, again, due to the uh, um, COVID-19 uh, guidelines, um, we are going to, um, you're, gonna, you're required to limit the capacity to 50% of the beds. I don't think that's a big deal because historically, I think that's kind of the way things have worked out 
anyway, we weren't filling them all up. And you guys kind of organize yourself how you're going to do that. I mean, the groups and the cabins that you would historically uh, want to access. So um, um, we're just going to make sure, again, that we're not jamming a bunch of people in all these cabins. Um, access to the dining hall and kitchen will be restricted this year. Um, anglers will have access to the walk-in cooler freezer, but will be required to wear a mask when entering the building. Um, anglers will not have access to the kitchen or any of the equipment in the kitchen, dishes, pots, pans, you know, stoves, ovens, um, the cooking equipment where the kitchen is off limits uh, from a participation perspective. Again, this is about um, COVID rules and public safety. Um, we're still trying to figure out a way that we can have some coffee available on the, those um, early September mornings. It'll probably be outdoors. Um, so anyway, but we are thinking about how we're gonna get that done. Um, anglers will be um, allowed to bring a portable grill or you know the small um, smokers to cook outside. That's, that's perfectly fine, guys, um, in terms of how you wanna do that or going off site to restaurants. Um, social gatherings in the dining hall won't be permitted this year. So I know historically there's been some um, um, poker games, um, those kind of things that you know have been fun. But what we're going to do though is that we're going to um, the move up. The poker games will need to be held in your guest cabins. I'm not saying you can't get together and have fun, but we just really want to limit um, and minimize big group activity um, in the dining hall. So that's what we're going to be asking you folks to do. Uh, and as always, you know, uh, you guys are expected to uh, clean uh, up your cabins and leave the, fa the facilities in a condition at least as good as when you, you arrived, if not maybe even better. So um, that's kind of um, an overview of, of uh, what things are going to look like this year um, on site at Camp Comoran. Um, again, we're excited about uh, hosting the event. Um, we're hoping, to, uh, like I said, I would encourage you guys to... Uh, get your entries in. We've got a number of them in already, but um, I would expect them to, to start rolling in more now. And it looks like uh, it could be a very, uh, um, looks like it could be a great event. So looking forward to seeing everyone there. Eric, I'll let you wrap up. Yeah, I mean, changes or not, um, everybody looks forward to this tournament, to, you know, for the social aspect in the past. We're doing what we can to uh, adjust to the rules that we got to play with. So Looking forward to seeing everybody there. I'm sure we'll all have a good time. And it's a tight championship. Uh, it's going to be cool. It's going to be fun to watch it come down to the end. Well, and really I did want to mention, I should have mentioned that we will be publishing an online uh, rules meeting here. Um, we'll probably have it a couple of days early um, on the week of the tournament so that people could, um, you know, take that in at your convenience. Yep. Look forward to seeing everybody. Take care. Bye.